We're at the Colorado Springs, you pull and pay. I'm in the Honda, got me a bag of tools. I'm here to get S10 parts. But if you look here, there's an S10 guy already on the scene. So I gotta get in there and get what I'm here to get, which is a grill specifically. And then anything else I can come out with, even up to and including a rear end. So I got all the tools I need to pull that. So let's get in there and get this done. Here we are, this is the 89 blazer that I'm going to rob for parts and the astute eye will see there's no grill right there that I specifically came to get for and I was very very upset when I seen this but then you know I, I was like whatever I'll still do what I can find what pieces that I can and I came around back and I happened to need a right rear tail light and check this out. That one's broken, but there's a perfect right rear tail light. That's actually a nice aftermarket unit. I might just take both of them. I don't know yet. We'll see. But fortunately for me, I kept poking around and I opened the door to look inside to see if anybody shoved anything inside and the grill was in there. So lo and behold, I didn't even have to do any work to take the grill out. Somebody already took it out for me. And I think they were just after the fancy reflectors that were on the side of this right here. And the little turn signal lights because it had some, some nice aftermarket ones. So they totally left this nice grill and took just the little pieces off the headlight buckets there. So fortunately for me, I'm snagging that taillight, which is exactly what I came for as well. And this should this is already like total mission success. I'm already, you know, I, I'm already got here what I came for. So now maybe I can get that rear end without too much hassle. So I'm going to wander around and see what else I can find and all the other different S10s and blazers. And I'll show you what, what we get. All right, y'all. This has just been a most fortuitous um visit to the you pull and pay because i've been searching on all the other blazers and s10s and all of them the tail lights were either gone messed up or you couldn't access because you couldn't get the tailgate down or something so i'm on one of the last s10s in the yard and what do i come upon this one already sitting off and this one only held on by one screw so I just got to go over there, unscrew the one screw, and there's my tail light that I needed. I might even just grab the pair just because. But how awesome is that? One screw and I'm done there. Couldn't get any better. Let's see what other cool fortuitous parts I can find. Y'all may notice we are not standing in front of an S10. I just happened to have an idea and come check out the Jeeps to look at the steering shafts. And lo and behold... The whole front end has already tore off this Jeep and the steering shaft is just right there. Now I don't have a torch for me to be able to collapse that. But where there's will there's a way. I think I'm just going to take off the whole deal here and pop that off because I've already got both bolts out. So hopefully with any luck I'll get that today. It looks like rain out and it's already 3 o'clock so we'll see how long I fight with this. But I did find a rear end farther down the way here in another blazer and it's the g80 rear end with the disc brakes that i need there's an impala right there if you look close but i'm gonna try and get this for now and then we'll see what happens so check it out steering shaft upgrade in the bag so what i ended up doing since i couldn't bring a torch in to heat the center section up and collapse the shaft i took the three bolts off here and the line to disconnect the the gearbox the steering gearbox and then once i connected the gearbox this end came out and i had to fight like a bear with that end but i finally put some penetrating spray on it and i got it off of there and it's in my wheelbarrow mine so it's uh it's starting to rain harder and harder and i think that stuff in the distance is probably Probably about to start dumping right on top of me, so I'm going to start meandering up front. I may hit the rear end I found with my penetrating spray before I leave, because I'll probably be back. 
but and it won't hurt to do that just in case but either way successful junkyard haul i'll go through it all once i get out to the car and get cleaned up well, we're done for the day i think i didn't bring the one socket that i needed to start pulling the rear end plus i've only got about an hour left till the pull and pay closes anyway so i think the rear end is going to have to wait for another day but they do have the G80 code rear end that I need that actually looks really nice. Doesn't have any leaking from the pinion seal, any of the, any of the seals on it have no leaks, looks really nice. But I couldn't get that today. But, uh, you know, time, tools, all that. I did get the goodies I came for originally though. So there's my awesome grill that is going to look just so cool on my truck. I'm probably going to paint it black. I've got the, the matching headlight bezels to go with it. And then I got the matching set of taillights because my back right taillight is actually the chrome unit instead of the black. But I just got the matching pair anyway. And then I went up to the Jeep section and I found me an 88 Jeep Cherokee. And I pulled the uh the steering shaft out of it so i got some pretty nice upgrades for the blazer and now i know for a fact that there's a g80 rear end back in there i'm just gonna have to come another day i need to go spend some time with my daughter right now but well, thanks everybody for watching please subscribe and you know definitely subscribe if you want to see more content about the blazer because it's coming back in a big way thank you